Hello, in this video we show you quiet mode or do not disturb mode on the LG G2. So most of us have our devices uh, switched on pretty much 24 hours a day, but there may be some times of the day where you just simply don't want to be disturbed, but you wish to leave your phone switched on. So there's a clever way of managing that, and uh, on a lot of phones it's known as do not disturb mode, but on the LG it's known as quiet mode. So you need to go into your settings, and under the sound option within settings you've got quiet mode so when we are in here we've got an on off switch which turns quiet mode on or off and when activated we get a little notification bar of that blue moon in the uh, top notification bar so I can turn it on or off here on the switch now we can manually switch it on or off with this switch or we can set specific times where the phone will automatically go into the quiet mode uh, by the times that we've set. So if I switch this to on, the device will automatically activate into quiet mode between Monday to Friday, between 10 o'clock at night and six o'clock in the morning. So if I tap into here, I can then adjust the times by using the scroller, tapping in and changing the specific number and I can set or cancel and I can change the days to which this applies. Come back. So when it's switched on, it will activate at those scheduled times, but if I switch it off, it won't activate at all. So then I can configure the incoming call settings. So it says at the moment to block all incoming calls, and that's what we want um, during the quiet time, because then no calls will actually disturb us. But as I mentioned, it's quite possible that you want certain people to be able to contact you in emergencies. So it might be close family or friends. It may be work for the work alarm or something like that. So what you can do is you can go in and you can change the options here. So you've got uh, under the allowed incoming call, it says allow repeated calls. Second call from same contact within three minutes will be allowed. So if you select this option, even if it's a blocked number, if they call very quickly again afterwards, it will allow the call to come through. So maybe someone you speak to very infrequently, but if they've called you in very quick succession, it might suggest that there is something up and they need to get hold of you quickly. So that would allow it to uh, come through. But if we untick that, that call will not come through. We then have the allowed contacts list. So we tap into here and we can press the plus button and we can add a number from contacts, from groups, or indeed favorites. So I could go through my contacts list and select all the numbers or contacts that I wished by using the checkbox. And it basically means that anybody on this list can get through during quiet mode. So I can delete numbers if I choose. Now it's allowed me to delete that one because I've only got one number in the list, but if I had more, I'd have the option to select individual numbers. If I come back out of here, and then I've also got auto reply to blocked calls. And at the moment there's no reply, but uh, what I can do is configure this to uh, send a message back to them so that they know that I will either get in contact with them or not. And it's here that you can change the, the message manually, and then that will automatically be sent if you've got this option um, switched on. So that's quiet mode or do not disturb mode on the LG G2.